Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. One of the governors of uh, the state in the middle belt of Nigeria has suggested a cure for the level of insecurity in Nigeria. And his suggestion is widespread. Nigerians are talking about it right now because uh, that had been in the minds of a lot of people because since the federal government cannot fix the issue of insecurity. And uh, the man has suggested that every responsible citizen should go around with an AK-47 sophisticated gun. Wow. Uh, but before we go on with details of the news, let's uh, first of all encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. The governor of Benue State, Samuel Otum, Wednesday appealed to President Muhammadu Buhari led federal government to allow responsible citizens to carry guns such as AK-47 to prevent criminals from attacking harmless Nigerians. Otum stated this in a paper obtained by Channel TV, which he presented yesterday during the virtual meeting convened by Center for Values in Leadership, CVL, in collaboration with Nigeria Governors Forum, NGF. In the paper titled Insecurity and Governance Challenges in the New Normal, the governor said government at all levels must come to terms with the fact that insecurity is a real threat to the development of the country and be willing to sincerely tackle the menace. He also recommended adequate funding of security agencies and continuous training of their personnel to enable them to be abreast of global dynamics in the fight against insecurity. Recall that Buhari had promised to equip the military with more arms. The president informed the governors of the imminent shipment of weapons and aircraft from Jordan, China, and the United States, but again asked for patience on the part of the public because the new weapon and aircraft must be manned by trained fighters and pilots who must first receive appropriate training. He also expressed satisfaction with the level of support from neighboring countries in the war against terrorism. His words, uh, they are cooperating with us. On Boko Haram, we are making progress with Bene, Niger, Chad, and Cameroon, he said, while restating that the intelligence gathering must improve to be able to trail small arms in the northwest, north central, and northeast states, the president said. President Buhari also expressed satisfaction with the level of naval activities in the Gulf of Guinea using newly acquired equipment, but demanded that hard to reach areas of Lake Chad, where Boko Haram terrorists have found new heavens, as well as the forest now inhabited by bandits, must be accessed and rid of nefarious elements. The chief of defense staff had spoken about their study of the forest and their potential danger to secure to security. We must make sure we follow the bandits and terrorists, but they must not be a deforestation or they must not be a deforestation in view of the climate situation. And uh, most Nigerians have are really talking right now. And um, the question is, uh, who are these innocent Nigerians? But however, um, if, if you want to look at this issue, you know, I feel that as much as this is a laughable, you know, suggestion by some persons, but I, I will want to say the truth here that um, what this man has said is actually very perfect. Nigerians have been, call it ri ridiculously patient with the federal government, you know, in the fight against insecurity in the country. This is running to five years since this administration, you know, boarded the leadership position of this country. But nothing has changed. Instead, it's getting from worse to worse. And at this point, I feel that um, that particular suggestion should be considered because if you want to be so real, you will, you will uh, agree with me that the level of mayhem these guys have caused, especially in the northern part and also in some southern states, is unthinkable. Imagine me going around with my AK-47. Imagine you going around with your AK-47. Any 
you blast anybody that messes up coming around your environment, especially those that are in the, you know, hither lands, those that are in the village community. You know, you're traveling on your way from Abuja to maybe Kaduna or from um, Abuja to uh, Kano. And lo and behold, as you are going on the way, some few charlatans just come out, you know, to disturb your peace. You just bring out your this thing with your car. Pa, 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 pa. You down them anyhow, and then you drive past. Before you know, they themselves will retrieve back to where they are coming from. You know, imagine in the middle of the night, someone breaks into your compound just anyhow. You call out, who is that? And the person is behaving anyhow. You just give some awareness in the egg. Po, po, po. Before you know, your neighbors will jump out, and before you know, you, you just quench the person. You know, it's it, for me, it's a good suggestion. No need to say, ah, it's a laughable issue. No, very, very good. Responsible Nigerians. By the time everybody, as they are, you know, carrying their AK-47 to take care of their cows, I'm talking about the Fulani haters, take care of the house. They also see you going to your farm with your AK-47. You know, you are weeding with your AK-47 in your back. And the next thing, somebody, their cows enter your farm. You say, hey, halt there. And they refuse to hold. You bring out your gun. Your wife also remove his own. Your senior son remove his own. By the time they hear pa pa pa, just in the air, they will shift immediately because we know that gun does not respect anybody. And you know it, it looks funny. You know the suggestion looks very funny, but it's so real. I'm telling you the truth. So real. That's just how because we can't be keeping quiet day after day. They are reducing Nigerians. And guess what? This has gone an extra mile in affecting development in Nigeria. I'm telling you the truth. Look at the northern part of Nigeria. Most of them were into commercial agriculture. But right now, they can't even assess their farm. Why? Because these Boko Haram guys are there. These Fulani haters are everywhere. By the time you make a step going to your farm and you hear that your neighbor has lost his life in the process of going, you just give up the farm. So you now realize that things are getting costly by the day. Some persons who had drawn up a plan and said, well, I'm going into agriculture this year and I'm going to ensure that uh, I'll be involved in exporting. I'll supply so much of so so thing to Nigeria and I'll also be exporting it. They just can't do it again. That particular plan have been swept down the drain to save, you know, the swines there. But, you know, if we have something to protect ourselves with, we won't even bother the federal government. Look at what Buhari has been telling Nigerians. We should be patient with him. We are talking about patience. People are losing their lives. You're talking about patience. These guys are, you know, every day sweeping in. Look at what Dr. Um, Obadaya said the other day. Obadaya, uh, La, my Lafia, said the other day that by come 2022, these guys are already preparing ground to, in, to, to, to enter into the urban areas and start knocking down some key people. You know, and that alone should awaken any reasonable government to, you know, their consciousness that, man, these things, these guys just want to see how they can usurp the government of the day and take over leadership from them. I feel at this point, such decisions should even be made by the State House of Assemblies, you know, at the state level. They look at you, are you responsible? They look at your record thus far. Have you been involved in any form of criminal activity in the state? Of course, no. And then, if you have the money, pay for your gun and have it for keeps. You realize that Nigerians won't be scared. This issue of kidnapping we are hearing every now and then, all of them will be reduced drastically, if not eradicated. Because by the time you are driving your car, and lo and behold, you see a young man being almost strangled or a woman strangled out of her car and thrown into one funny car. You just pa, pa, bust their tires immediately. Before you know, other responsible citizen will remove also the other. if you move we finish you before you know we will reduce this thing it's a serious issue and i feel that should be considered i'm serious it should be considered but look at united states of america have you been hearing issues of kidnap here and there i could still remember when we nigeria and when uh, the blacks in america were going around to do this issue of uh, um do, carry out awareness on this issue of let uh, black leave you know and all of that or uh, black life matters if they, they were entering into the veranda of one white man and the man they, 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 the video went really viral the man came out with his gun him and his wife gave, came out with their gun and before every before we knew everybody just had to obey the gun they were not obeying his voice but they were obeying the gun so you see there that the gun has some level of authority on its own and it can put people under serious check 
Why are people scared of uh, military? It's not because they have power more than everybody. But number one, the uniform and the fact that they are handling guns. That's why Nigerians are scared of them. Without those you know, stuff, most Nigerians wouldn't even answer them. So I feel that it's a good suggestion. That's where I would like to leave it. Go to our comment section. Let's interact. What do you have to say about this wonderful suggestion by Samuel Otong, who had suffered in the hands of banditry? And